Hey, what's up everyone? Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In the previous video, we set up WP Photo Seller plugin and we set up the basic settings for it. For it. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover creating a price list. Alright, so first step you want to do is go to WP Photo Seller menu and then click on Price List. And then click the Create Price List button. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is give the price list a name. So we're just I'm just going to come up with something generic. I'm going to call it portraits. And I'm going to assume no on the tax and the shipping, but you can select that if you want and then click on This is if you this is for if you're going to be selling prints and shipping them and you need to charge tax for them. Um, and you can set up the tax and the shipping down here in the tax and shipping menu. But in this case, um, I'm going to choose no for those. And now I'm going to click on Save Price List. Okay, so now um, this is for if you have different, if you're going to have different variations for the digital um, copies of your images. So that's what we're going to do first. So for this particular price list, we're going to create the parameters for the digital variation. So that's the auto-delivered um, version of your images. So let's give uh, let's give it a name. So first of all, we want to give them a full size image that we wanted up. So we'll just click full size. We'll, I mean, we'll type in full size here, and the ratio would be one, which represents. 100% that's a full size image and we'll give it a price and then let's add another variation for let's say half size okay so we got our full size in there and that's the ratio which means 100% and then that's the price so we're gonna go with half size is the other option and the ratio of course would be 0.5 and we'll give the price of $15 add digital variation so now all the galleries that we create that we attach to this particular price list will have those two options um, for the digital versions of the of the images all right so any any gallery attached to the portraits price list will have the options of full size and half size images and then if someone for example checks out um, and purchase the half size the software will automatically convert the image to that size and deliver it to the customer all right and this is for physical variation now this is for if you're going to be selling prints so so you can um, you don't there's no different sizes for these that are going to be created automatically so in general what you can do is specify the dimensions just in the in the description here so so I'll use this as an example 35 by 50 inch all right and then we'll give a price sixty dollars and then add it Okay, so now for this portraits, portraits price list, we have it set up with two different sizes um, for the digital versions of the images, and then one size for the uh, physical variations of the image. That's really all there is to it. Now, we can click on price list again if we wanted to create more price lists. And or we can edit the existing price list here, portraits, or we just click on the create price list button to create a new um, price list if we have different galleries that we want to sell with different sizes, for example. All right, that's it for this video. Again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.